people have been fascinated by the sun since the beginning of time. However, humanity has only recently developed the ability to harness the sun's immense power. As the globe grows more aware of the threats posed by climate change, a growing number of people are seeking ways to lessen their carbon footprint. Solar power is one of the most promising and environmentally friendly energy sources. No other country's green transition approaches the scale of China's, where a world powered by the sun is quickly taking shape. China wants to add a lot more solar power over the next few years by building huge projects in the country's deserts. So, without further ado, let's get into the video, but before that, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss out on important updates. Tanger Desert Solar Park, spanning 43 square kilometers, 16.6 square miles, in the open desert and supplying power to more than 600,000 homes, was built on a never-before-seen scale, earning the impressive title of the world's largest photovoltaic power facility, both in size and production, when it was completed in 2016 with a planned installed capacity of about 3 gigawatts. The project is the result of cooperation between China National Grid and Zhonghui Power Supply Co., about 5.8 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year, and CNY 1.5 billion, USD 217 million, in income were projected to result from the project. The photovoltaic power plant is part of a larger CNY 100 billion project to transmit electricity generated in Ningxia to six provincial level districts in central Hunan province. Ningxia, being at a high elevation, offers lengthy hours of sunlight, making it one of the provincial-level places best suited to renewable energy projects. The solar farm may be found at Zhangwei, which is a city on the edge of the Tanger Desert that is located to the southeast. Zhangwei has developed 111 new energy projects over the course of the previous several years, and these projects have a combined installed capacity of 8.27 million takedo. The Chinese government has committed to meeting 35% of China's total energy demands with clean energy by the year 2030, and Tanger is a symbol of this transformation in China's renewable energy sector. China has gone from having practically no solar production to becoming the global leader in under a quarter of a century, installing more than double the quantity of solar panels as the country with the next closest installation total. Despite the fact that it continues to rely on fossil fuels, China is on track to create more than half of the world's renewable energy in the not-too-distant future. Tanger is a potent symbol of China's dedication to environmental care, despite the fact that there is little information available about it. The solar cell plant is also an essential component of a national megaproject that aims to send the power that is generated in Ningxia to the province of Hunan, which is located in the center of China. The mega project is largely focused on the delivery of new energy. It is the first ultra-high voltage power transmission line in the country to have its foundation in desert photovoltaics. It is anticipated that by the conclusion of the 14th five-year plan, it will have a total length of 1,467 kilometers, and it will improve the energy supply of human province by 1/6, 2021 to 25. The Tanger Desert is China's fourth largest desert with abundant solar and wind energy resources. However, Tanger's 1.5 gigawatt capacity does not mean 100% of the energy gets used. Most people in China live in the eastern part of the country, but most large solar parks are in deserts in the northwest, where demand for power is low. There are some big technical hurdles in transmitting the power generated in these far-flung places to where it can be used. Because of transmission bottlenecks, oversupply, and other challenges with the electrical grid, provinces in northwest China have lost up to one-third of the solar power produced at times. The industry name for this is curtailment. To prevent new power plants from lying idle while waiting for better grid connections, China's National Energy Administration has even halted the building of some new solar power projects in western Gansu, Xinjiang, and Tibet. However, this does not deter China from increasing its forthcoming initiatives. Construction on the first round of large-scale wind and solar panel-based projects, most of which are located in desert areas, with a combined capacity of 97.05 gigawatts under a national renewable energy plan, has recently begun, according to an announcement made by the National Energy Administration (NEA) of China at a meeting. The NEA also stated that some of the second round of solar projects are also currently under construction. 
The National Endowment for the Arts emphasized how critical it is to get important work on the third round of basic projects underway as quickly as feasible. According to the Shanghai Securities News, China's usage of renewable energy sources will account for more than 50% of the country's total energy consumption by the year 2025, and the amount of energy generated by wind and solar will be twice as high as it was in the year 2020. Because of this, China will be able to achieve its objective of lowering its carbon emissions even more quickly. Moving on, during the first seven months of 2022, China's newly installed capacity for the generation of power from renewable sources reached 65.02 million kilowatts, accounting for 77% of the entire newly installed capacity for power generation. During the period of January through July, China generated 1.52 quadrillion kilowatt hours worth of power from renewable sources. This represented 31.8% of the country's overall output of electricity. Last year, China added a record quantity of solar power, and it is anticipated that the country will do so again this year. This is likely to happen as a result of both renewable projects in the desert and a statewide drive for additional rooftop installations. Despite the fact that China's capacity for renewable energy is now more than that of any other nation, with 306 mW of solar and 328 mW of wind, the country is well ahead of schedule to meet its goal of 1,200 mW by the end of the decade. In addition, the government forecasts that this time period will mark the point at which national carbon emissions will have reached their maximum height. The solar energy boom in China has clearly had positive effects on the environment. As the country with the highest TO2 emissions in the world, China's efforts to decarbonize its energy system will be absolutely necessary if the country is to meet its goal of becoming carbon neutral by the year 2060. Solar energy is a fantastic method for accomplishing this goal. Solar panels have a lifespan of between 25 and 30 years on average and can offset the emissions produced by manufacturing in as little as 4 to 8 months. The rapid shift away from the use of coal that is occurring in China will also contribute to a reduction in air pollution in the country's cities, which will be beneficial for both public health and the environment. Despite some problems, China keeps investing in green infrastructure and technologies in the power and transportation sectors so that it can reach its goal of having zero emissions by the year 2060. We hope this has given you a better understanding of the Tengger Desert Solar Park, its potential benefits and downsides, and the current obstacles that the program is facing. As we conclude this video, we'd like to leave you with some crucial questions to consider and share with us in the comments section. What do you think about China obtaining net zero emissions? What effect do you think it will have on the climate and the future? What are your reservations about the upcoming projects? We appreciate your time and hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel so that you can see more engaging content like this. Stay tuned for the next video.